Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 2, lesson 3, practice problems. Our first question here says segment AB measures 3 centimeters. Point O is the center of dilation. How long is the image of AB after a dilation with a scale factor of 5? Well, a scale factor of 5 means if it was 3 centimeters, it will be 3 times 5. Why are you erasing? 15 centimeters. Scale factor of 3.7. It was 3. We multiply it by 3.7. 11.1 centimeters. Scale factor of 1 fifth. 3 times 1 fifth is three-fifths of a centimeter. Scale factor of S, again, we just multiply three times S. Okay, for our next question here, here are the points A and B. Plot the points for each dilation described. Can I get the ruler lined up well enough for that? Okay, our points are on a ruler now. Let me try and line these up. So that looks like seven eighths from B, an image of B using A as the center of dilation and a scale factor of two. So seven eighths So this distance doubled is now this distance. So that is point okay, I have to turn the ruler off to label it. C. D is the image of A using B as the center of dilation. which means now I need to go here and close the ruler and that's D. E is the image of B using A as the center and a scale factor of one half. So we can do the same thing but we have to go halfway and that will be E. Now, whoops, capital E. Um, F is the image of A using B as the center of dilation and a scale factor of one half. That is actually in the same place as E. Because if we go half the distance, it doesn't matter which side we're going from. E and F are in the same place. Okay, our next question is make a perspective drawing. Include in your work the center of dilation, the shape you dilate, and the scale factor you use. So how about if I make a shape? I'm going to make it a little easy so I can draw it quickly. Okay. 
Ooh, that's not my best ever work. I'm gonna start over. There. So, if that's my shape, I need a center of dilation. How about if I use my center of dilation right here? So, if that's my center of dilation, When I'm, actually, that makes it easier. How about if I use a scale factor of three? So this looks like one unit. Scale factor of three would make it one, two, three units. So the new point will be there. Let me do the next one. One and a half times three is four and a half. So one, two, three, four and a half. My new point is right there. And now I have. Okay, this point, it looks like it's seven eighths. Seven eighths times three is 21 eighths, which should be right there. Turn off my ruler, connect my dots. and I created a scale perspective drawing. Okay, triangle ABC is a scaled copy of triangle DEF. Side AB measures 12 centimeters and is the longest side of ABC. Side DE measures eight centimeters and is the longest side of DEF. So one has a longest side of 12, the other one has a longest side of eight. ABC is a scaled copy of DEF. Well, DEF is smaller than ABC. So if we want to find the scale factor if we're taking a small thing and making it big, our scale factor has to be greater than one. So our scale factor, how do we find out what we multiplied by? We divide. 12 divided by eight, which is, let's simplify our fraction. That could be six fourths or three halves. So our scale factor is 3 over 2 or 1 and 1 half. DEF is a scaled copy of ABC. What is the scale factor? Well now we're going the other way. We are going from 12 to 8, which means our scale factor has to be less than 1. So our sides are the same way. We just have to set up our ratio upside down. Eight over 12, which is those are both divisible by four. Let's skip the intermediate step. 8 divided by 4 is 2, 12 divided by 4 is 3, the scale factor is 2 thirds. Okay, number 5, this diagram shows two intersecting lines. Find the missing angle measurements. Well, 102 and B are vertical angles. 
So they both have to be 102. A and B have to have a sum of 180, which means A plus 102 has to equal 180. 180, div or 180 subtract 102 is 78 degrees. A and C are also vertical angles, so this also has to be 78 degrees.